So today's video, I'll be discussing the top 10 trending cleansing balms. The results come from a poll that I run on my Instagram page, usually once a week or so. Hundreds of people participate, so it's a really engaging process that I love doing. Um, and I usually ask the question, like what are the products that people are using now? What are the products they've recently purchased? Just to get an idea of what's popular. As I said, this week's category is cleansing balms, which tends to be filled with a lot of classic products. Not that many new releases make the list, but I think still, interesting to look at um, basically I'm going to go through the list from 10 to 1 just giving you my random thoughts on the products and I encourage you to let me know in the comments what you like what you dislike what you tried what you want to try and even just general recommendations um, of maybe newness that you've used recently that you suggest and recommend so let's get into it so number 10 on the list is the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. This is one that I actually haven't used. Um, if you've followed me for a while, you'll probably know I'm not the biggest fan of Paula's Choice. Just their like marketing tactics and things is not really my vibe. And their textures tend to be, you know, not the most sensorial, but no shade. I know they're a popular brand for a reason and people love their kind of, you know, no BS approach to skincare, even though they BS a lot, but that's a topic for another video. Um, from what I understand, people enjoy this cleanser because it comes in a tube, which is really convenient and a good point of difference from other cleansing balms that are around. But as I said, I haven't used it, so no real thoughts on performance. Let me know in the comments why you love it. I'd love to hear. I'm always actually open to trying Paula's Choice, even though they're not like my first go-to. Uh, just before I continue with the list, I also wanted to briefly mention the kind of two main ways that I think of cl cleansing balms. You've sort of got your waxy category and your more oily balm category and that tends to be how most cleansing balms sort of fit in terms of skin feel. Um, I think the Paula's Choice one is probably a little bit more of a waxy balm but I could be way off on that because I haven't used it. Number nine on the list is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. This one I have used and I can say with certainty that I did not really enjoy the process. I thought the sort of fragrance and color around it was pretty interesting and you know made it a little bit more just fun to use versus other brands. But the scent, especially after a while, it's just too sweet, too cloying, too much like lollies and like candy. So it ended up not being my favorite experience in that way. But I also just had a really hard time like emulsifying and actually rinsing this cleanser off. It feels like it grips a lot to the skin and won't really maneuver easily, which I really did not enjoy. So the fact that it's this high up on the list was a little bit confusing to me. I, I don't think it's a well-formulated product. I'm sorry to the Glow Recipe fans I know there are many of you but this one is not worth the hype Number eight is actually a Tide vote. So we've got the Hamish All Clean Balm and also the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm, I think Green Clean. Hamish I haven't used from what I can gather. It's pretty popular in the K-beauty world. Um, and from what I've seen of it, it seems to look like it's a waxy or sherbet style balm. I think it has a bunch of plant extracts and essential oils. So I imagine it maybe smelt, smells a bit like a spa-like experience. Let me know in the comments if you've used it and how you would describe what it smells like and what it feels like. Um, because it's so popular, I assume it works really well, but yeah, I just haven't used that. Pharmacy, I've used multiple jars. I stopped using it for a while because just their marketing didn't really vibe with me, um, which is not a great reason, but that's just what happened. I like that it's available in a bunch of different textures. It is also one of the waxy uh, sort of sherbet style balms. The Pharmacy one though, I think actually emulsifies and rinses properly and very well. It's very effective. Number seven on the list is the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. This one is a personal favorite of mine. I love the color, sort of love the uh, the scent that it has. It's quite unique, a little bit sort of sweet bitter, which makes it just more appealing to use. Um, I think it emulsifies really well and it rinses really cleanly. They've just done an excellent job with this cleansing balm. Um, I also think although it sort of starts off as having a little bit of like a waxy cell texture, at least in the jar, 
but it does lean more oil balm so it does break down to that kind of more luxurious just decadent feel and you don't have that kind of residue effect or kind of surface kind of silicone feel that you can sometimes get from the waxy balms so that ends up just being more personal preference some people like the cleansers that have a little bit more slip which is really why the waxy balms excel whereas the more oily balms you can just massage in a little bit better and that's what I enjoy about the then I met you cleansing balm number six on the list is the naturium purple ginseng cleansing balm um, as you know well, if you followed me for a while you'll know that i'm a big fan of naturium in general i love a lot of their products this one is more along the lines of it's just okay so i tend to prefer cleansing balms that rinse really well with very minimal minimal of a conditioning residue this one i can feel quite a bit so the residue that it leaves behind is not oily or like icky feeling it is very much a conditioning or moisturizing style effect but it is noticeable enough so I just tend to prefer things that rinse off a little bit more successfully I know some people maybe especially if you're on the drier side or dry sensitive um, might enjoy having a little bit of a conditioning effect in their balm and I know this product is extremely popular um, yeah I just wish that it rinsed a little bit cleaner and the whole purple ginseng concept is really cool um, I just maybe wish there was a fragranced option because I think that would be really awesome but something for the wish list anyway. Number five is another Tide vote. So we've got the Beauty of Joseon, Joseon, Joseon Cleansing Balm, and also the Vanilla, the Vanilla Co Clean at Zero. I've tried neither of these, which is a little bit shameful. I know I don't think I can actually be in the skincare community having not tried these. But the beauty of Joseon, again, it just reads very simple and basic. Um, you know, it's probably something I'll pick up eventually just to try, but there's just nothing interesting about this product. Generally with cleansers, I'm looking for some type of enhanced and sensorial property that I haven't already used before. This just reads like, or the re reviews I've seen seem to indicate that it's very much a basic stock standard makeup remover, which is totally fine. I know it has a great price point. So if you're using it from a perspective like of utility, totally makes sense. But I guess again, for me, it's just not fun enough. If I'm totally wrong and it's the most amazing sensorial cleanser to use, please do let me know. I'm very willing to be wrong and vanilla I also haven't used I think I've got maybe um, maybe it's a mandarin one in my drawers to try because uh, I was looking for a fragrance version that I'm keen to explore so I'll have to update you on that one as soon as I open it Number four on the list is the Deviant Skincare Cleansing Concentrate. So this is actually one of the original cleansing balms that I've used that I really feel like went into that kind of indie luxury space and it was super exciting to kind of try something like this. It is much more of a delicate oily balm. So again, that helps with the indulgence of it. And I'm pretty sure it, it must have been Caroline Hirons that sort of introduced me to Deviant. She has been a champion of the brand for ages and I love whenever people sort of support uh, the small indie brands that's always great deviant have had their kind of classic version which is green and has a little bit more of like a herb like scent they've recently added a blue tansy edition as a permanent one to their line so that's the one that i love and it smells strongly of blue tansy which is maybe an acquired scent but if you love it you'll be obsessed with it it's kind of a little bit sweet a little bit medicinal in its scent the actual cleanser performs really well rinses really cleanly but just feels really nourishing and moisturizing with no residue so that's a 10 out of 10 for me i love it Number three is another indie brand. So this is La Belle Lune. Um, they've got a couple of cleansing balms on range. There's one called Night Bloom and the other one is Witching Hour. Witching Hour was first, which is green. And it has again, more of like a, um, I don't know, kind of like a green scent. <laughs> That's not a great description, but it just smells a little bit more like herbal or like forest-like, like bark nature, <laughs> if that makes sense. Night Bloom is more of an incense scent, so a lot like uh, a candle shop is what it reminds me of. Or I think I described it like going into the going into the house where the Charm Sisters live, like Hallowell Manor. That's what it smells like to me. So if that's your vibe, then Night Bloom is the one. This cleanser reminds me a lot of the Deviant Cleansing Concentrate. It is more of an oily balm, quite delicate with a beautiful blend of oils. Both Witching Hour and Night Bloom perform in the same way. I can't really tell them apart beyond 
color and just their fragrance experience. Um, so they are oily, emulsify really well, rinse really cleanly. La Belle Loon has a hydrating serum. I think it's called Mayan Dew or Dew, Dew, Mayan Dew. That smells a little bit like vanilla. So I'm really dying for them to release a cleansing balm that has that scent in it because I will be all over it. So number two on the list is the Clinique Take the Day Off Clean Cleansing Balm. So this one has been around for years, very much sort of a cult status favorite. I've used both the original like white one and their charcoal update. Those two are very similar, not much variation there. Um, I understand why this one is popular. It's very much a stock standard, good quality, functions well clean, cleansing balm. Again, it probably doesn't deliver as much of a sensorial experience as I would like. And I tend to personally prefer that balms that lean more oily balm versus waxy balm. And this Clinique one is definitely more of a sherbet waxy style balm. Again, it works really well. So I understand why people like it. Potentially, it's maybe a little bit overpriced for what it is, um, but in terms of how convenient it is, it is to get to where it's available in all department stores everywhere. That's a you know easy great thing. But I know Clinique is a long-standing favorite. I own it, and I'll probably continue to use it more so out of nostalgia. So we've reached the end of the list and number one is the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've definitely used this one. I've currently got the fig in rotation, but I've used the original and the rose as well. I just love that they actually do offer a variety of flavors or scents. That's always fun. And the colors and all that, you know, any type of, you know, minor variation or choice is always great. The price point is fairly high. So I think it's probably overpriced for a cleanser, but you know, they do use nice oils. It does emulsify and rinse really well it is a very indulgent sort of treat yourself kind of product so you know it makes sense from that point of view and LMS is of course more of a spa brand so that just comes with a premium automatically um, do I think it works like much better than the other cleansers no like I would say I probably prefer the La Belle Loon and Deviant cleansers even the Then I Met You cleanser but LMS is a solid option where the fragrances are a little bit more intentional and designed so it gives them a you know a point of difference and I think LMS deserves some recognition for popular for popularizing cleansing balms especially in western countries where maybe they weren't that well known at that time um, yeah so that's a wrap on the list let me know again if you've got any feedback or just questions or comments about anything and the hope is that we have a little bit of a skincare community going on just an exchange of thoughts um, I'm not trying to say that anything I've kind of conveyed in this video is right or like that's correct just my opinion and experience using the products so again I'm very open to hearing if you disagree or what you like better instead so yeah um, oh, one last thing I just wanted to mention is that there were a few kind of well-known products that didn't make the list, like the Alpha H cleansing balm has become quite popular lately. Eve Lom is a cult favorite that didn't make the cut. And I know a lot of people love the Emma Hardy cleanser. They were all in the top 20, but just missed out on top 10 placement. So we'll see if they make the cut next year. On a personal note as well, so one of my favorite cleansers that I've been using recently is actually the Retrove Cleansing Elixir. Um, so I discovered this from Michelle Wong, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, and I've loved using it ever since. It comes in a pump bottle that is almost like a broken down cleansing balm, so you don't like uh, scoop it out. It's already done for you in the pump, and that feels amazing, just really indulgent, but light and creamy somehow, and again, rinses really well without stripping. That's another pricey one though, and it is fragrance free. So if fragrance is important to you, then maybe skip that. But if you're looking for a more unique cleansing experience, the Retrove one is definitely one to look out for, especially if you're if you like sort of shopping in the luxury realm of skincare products. That's the end of this video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe, please, and thank you. <laughs>